Hey friends, it's Elizabeth Morse with Container Corner and um, I've got something really kind of fun and unusual to talk to you about today and to show you. Normally we um, are only working with plants on videos, um, which is of course super fun and, um, and we all love to garden, but um, I was invited recently to my little sister's house and she had a craft night, which um, is, is is fun um, but what we did there was actually created these cool beaded stakes um, to decorate potted plants and gardens uh, they are garden jewelry beaded garden stakes and I love them we had such a good time I thought I would show you how to make them um, and just kind of do a little something different with our containers this time we've all got plenty of, of plants that we can use um, and these were just so fun. Um, my nephew actually made me this one, the blue one, and um, it was kind of an aquatic theme. There's a little dolphin charm. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, super cute. And then I made this one because I, I love pinks and purples. And I also made a yellow one that I gave to a friend. But um, my sister and her boys actually ended up making a ton of them to give to teachers. They got little potted plants and then they made special, um, special garden stakes for each one and they gave those during Teacher Appreciation Week. And I thought, you know, it's just such a fun thing. Uh, those of us who love to garden like things to decorate our gardens. So these are easy and cheap and kind of fun and um, a creative way to, to dress up um, our potted plants. So not very expensive. I sh thought I would show you exactly what we used. This is a little dowel rod. You can see um, it's threaded. There are some people, um, I did a little research, and some people are making them different ways, but I really like this way. I think this is kind of the coolest one. Um, anyway, threaded dowel rod. You need um, whatever kind of doorknob that you like, a, a drawer pull. These are really pretty. They're little roses, and I thought that would be particularly fun for this group. You can see the ones that we made before, kind of like a diamond, like a glass knob. You could also um, have some really big fun with vintage knobs. That would be cool. And then um, the first thing that you're going to do is you just tear this guy off, and um, full disclosure, these are um, getting kind of popular, and they're actually somewhat hard to find at the hardware store. There we go. Um, but they are less than a dollar a piece, so not very expensive, and they come in different lengths. I like this length because we're gonna put beads um, about two thirds of the way down, and then this gives this much room um, for it to anchor into the soil. So anyway, I've selected this guy, uh, this drawer pull, and I'm going to screw that onto the top, just like that kind of like a magic wand. And then I've got a bunch of glass beads and these came from Amazon. You can get an assortment and I actually wrote um, an article about this project too for Container Corner and, um, and put that on the Planner's Place website and it actually has some links that you can click through and get the, um, the actual, um, it'll take you right to where these beads are, um, these assortments. Anyway, um, tons of different colors. They're pinks, they're purple. Um, there's some amber colored ones. There are white ones with little tiny rhinestones and um, all kinds. I like glass. You could use plastic. Then there also are these little charms um, and spacers. And again, um, in that article I mentioned there are links to those, um, those exact things. But this is just an assortment. It's got different little... Um, designs on the beads if you want to have spaces. There's some pretty little charms like butterflies. I was thinking this would be such a fun project for a bridal shower or even Bible school. Um, all kinds of different themes. You could get terms and um, like see here's like a little angel. This would be super cute. Christmas time. Um, anyway so what you're going to do is you've got this and you're going to choose the beads that you like. I think I'm going to do maybe some reds and oranges this time. You get the idea. We're just going to thread these in a pleasing way, um, whatever it is that you are wanting to decorate. And sometimes it's fun to coordinate with a particular color of the, the pot that you're going to use. Maybe if you're going to stick it in a container um, or if you're going to put it outside in your garden, you might want to think about the plant that you're going to put it in front of and maybe choose something that's going to really contrast with that plant so that, um, so that it kind of sticks out and people can admire your handiwork. So I've got a few beads here, four or five. I'm going to put a spacer just because I think that looks interesting. And I'm going to keep threading some of these. It's 
fun to put beads that have different textures and colors and the charms give a little bit of movement. It's almost like a tiny outdoor sculpture. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be outdoors. In fact, most of mine are inside, but I do have a few that are going in my outdoor garden. And I do like, um, I do like the glass because obviously they're pretty weather resistant. Okay, so I'm just gonna add maybe another spacer and maybe a few more beads because you do wanna leave about a third of the stake empty at the end because that's the part that's gonna anchor into the ground. I think I'm just about there, maybe one or two more. Oh, I really like that one, that's cool. Hmm. Yeah, super fun. I think I'll end with that one. And then at the very end, you're gonna take um, just a little hex nut. Once you've got everything the way that you like it, and you're gonna thread this down, and that kind of keeps your beads in place. Pretty cute, huh? Anyway, um, thanks for joining me today on Container Corner. I'm super excited to have brought this kind of fun and unique garden craft to you guys. If you end up making some, send me an email and let me, um, let me take a look because I'm looking for some more inspiration. I'm totally in love with these and I'm going to be making a bunch more to have um, pretty garden bling uh, for my plants everywhere. Take care. Thank you. If you enjoyed these gardening tips, subscribe to our channel so you can get updates on new videos and stay in the know about all things gardening. Click the red subscribe button below. See the description below for more information about how to connect with us on plantersplace.com, Facebook, and Instagram.